I want to talk about how superficial behavior can hurt your relationship and if you are single to beware. Now, I was watching a program recently and the guy took the girl he's dating and actually considering to marry to his house. And when she got there, she, she looked around and she burst into laughter. She saw this chair. She said, how long have you had this chair? When, when did you buy this chair? It was an antique chair. He said, oh, it's an antique chair. He got to the, she got to the kitchen and she saw that the, the, there's a cut, like a, a hole that leads an entrance, not a, like a door, but like somewhere you climb through to enter his bedroom. And she, she went into a fit of laughter. She was mocking him. And I, I remember thinking to myself, why are you behaving like this? Come on. This is just where someone lives. doesn't define who they are. And there's some people, so it made me want to do this video to say, look, as single people, you've got to be cautious that you don't judge people based on where they live, how they style their house. Maybe you feel, oh, the style is outdated, not in fashion, or, it, or maybe it's been decorated, you know, like to a low standard in your opinion and all that. This is who this person is. You have to accept somebody in totality. You can't take bits and bits from this person when it's not like a bad behavior or anything. This is where he lives and you guys can change it. If you get married, you can move into an apartment that both of you approve. You understand? So these are all superficial things, shallow things that you shouldn't, it's not something, I mean, I was so moved that I had to do a video on it. Look, eventually she realized it, thank God. And she apologized. She said, in fact, when she had time to reflect, she said, actually, I feel ashamed of my behavior, that it is not right. I said, oh, thank God, redemption. You know, so I just want to, especially single women, you know, when you go to a guy's house, don't look down at it. It's disrespectful. You know, you shouldn't be that shallow minded that you should judge people based on what they have. That's materialism, you know, because people can buy things based on their taste or based on their income or based on their style. You've got to respect other people's style. It might not be in fashion with you, but if you meet somebody and you're dating, you guys can work on it together. When you are styling your house, interior, decorating your house, you can do what works for both of you. But to bring down somebody, look down on them, mock them, actually have the nerve to laugh at them. That's humiliating and you're disrespecting you know somebody else and i just said you know let me warn single people and also even married people too you know sometimes married people if you're a superficial person you know i want to talk about superficial behaviors you know like that you only consider that somebody your husband is good enough for you or your wife is good enough for you when she wears designer clothes design carries a designer bag because you want to impress others not because you truly love those designers but because you want to make a statement that, oh, we have money and we want to belong to a certain class. That's just superficial. Come, come down from your high house. Just spend your money on things that are meaningful, things you really, truly want. Not because you want to, you know, like make a statement. Because if, for, especially when you cannot afford it, if you can afford it, oh, well, I'm good. But if you can't, and if you can't really afford it and then you go into debt just because you want to wear Louis Vuitton, or, or, you know, balance, you want to, your wife to carry a Balenciaga bag. Who are you even impressing yourself? People that will still gossip about you behind your back. Let's have wisdom, guys. Let's have wisdom. Your marriage, don't let those things cause conflict. You might be a very reasonable person or um, budget, um, conscious about budget and all that. And the wife you have or the husband you have just goes spending all the money on irrelevant things. You know, things that you can actually get in moderation then that can cause conflicts in a marriage. So that's what I'm talking about it. So it's supposed to be a short video, guys. I just want to say, please, cheers, guys, before I forget. I just want to say, be conscious and just work on your relationship. Work on yourself. Self-growth is important. Look yourself in the mirror. I pray that God will all, give us all grace, you know, to live the way he wants us to live in Jesus Christ. And guys, like, share, subscribe, share this video to anyone you don't know who is going to help, especially the single people.